Iraq elected a new president last week. He promptly put forward Mohammad Shia as Sudani as prime minister designate. Now, who is a Sudani and will he be able to bring Iraq out of its political crisis? We take a closer look at who this man is. Iraq has been suffering from political turmoil for about a year. A government failed to form after the elections last October, but the deadlock may break this week. The new president, Abdul Latif Jamal Rashid, put Mohammad Shia al Sudani forward as the new PM designate. Al Sudani has till the middle of next month to finalize his cabinet, but reports say it could happen as soon as Saturday. I will do my best to form a strong government, adamant on the fulfillment of its goals by nominating professional and honest personalities who are able to achieve their responsibilities. We will strive to hold free and fair local elections in a transparent electoral environment that will reassure all those vying for a spot. But who is Al Sudani? How did he become the Prime Minister elect? What challenges does he face? We'll first talk about Al Sudani's background. His father was executed by Saddam Hussein's regime when he was about 10 years old. In his early 20s, he joined the 1991 Shia uprising to try and topple Hussein. After Hussein was deposed by the US in 2003, Al Sudani took up various positions in local and central governments. In 2004, he became the mayor of Amara city. In 2009, he became the governor of the Mason province. In 2010, he joined the cabinet of former Prime Minister Nouri al-Maliki. He served as Iraq's human rights minister till 2014. He then served as Minister of Labor and Social Reforms from 2014 to 2018. During that time, he was part of Iraq's Islamic Dawa party. But he quit in 2020. This was after protests against the al-Maliki regime. Al Sudani is now the leader of the Euphrates Movement Party. It won three parliamentary seats in last year's elections. The party is part of the Coordination Framework, a group of iron backed Shia parties. The Coordination Framework first proposed Al Sudani's name for the Prime Minister's post in July. His nomination had sparked protests in Baghdad. Baghdad's heavily fortified green zone was stormed by supporters of one of the biggest names in Iraq politics, Muqtada al-Sadr. Al-Sadr's party, the Sadr movement, had won the most seats in the 2021 elections. But they failed to ally with enough MPs to form the government. Al-Sadr withdrew his 73 MPs from parliament in June. He wanted fresh elections. But the coordination framework increased their numbers after Al Sadr withdrew his MPs. They took advantage of the situation by nominating Al Sudani in July and stand to benefit from his becoming Prime Minister now. Al Sudani is viewed as a neutral candidate, but the Sadr movement has declared that they will not join his government. Some Sadr supporters hold posts in Iraq's government. Tension is expected between them and the new Al Sudani regime. Besides the political instability, Iraq faces other problems as well. $87 billion from oil exports are locked up in Iraq's central bank. Iraq's interim government did not have the authority to release a budget. The people expect the new government to use that money for Iraq's development. According to the UN, nearly four out of ten young Iraqis are unemployed. About one third of the country lives in poverty. Al Sudani has vowed to revitalize Iraq's industry, agriculture, and private sector. He also said he would end corruption. But Iraq's citizens aren't sure if the new regime will be able to deliver. I consider the birth of this government a very difficult birth. But we hope. We can't but hope. We don't have anything but hope that hearts reconcile and that they learn the lesson from the protests. To be honest, we can say this is the last chance. West Asia Bureau, Vion World is One.